కృపావార్త కార్యక్రమమునకు స్వాగతం నేటి ధ్యానాంశము మారా నన్ను నవమి అని పిలువద్దు నన్ను మారా అని పిలువుడి ఎలైనగా సర్వశక్తి గల దేవుడు నాకు బహుదుఃఖము కలుగు చేస్తాను డు నాట్ కాల్ మీ నవ్ మీ కాల్ మీ మారా యాస్ ద సోర్ ఇన్ లాడ్ హ్యాస్ మేడ్ మై లైఫ్ బిట్ట మారానుభవ మధురముగా మార్చగలవో నివో మారానుభవ మధురముగా మార్చగలవో నివో మహోన్నతుడా మీ కృపలో నేను నివసించుట నా జీవిత ధన్యతయున్నది మహోన్నతుడా నీ కృపలో నేను నివసించుట మారానుభవం మధురముగా మార్చగలవో నీవో మహోన్నతుడా మీ కృపలో నేను నివసించుట నా జీవిత ధన్యతై ఉన్నది మహోన్నతుడా మీ కృపలో నేను నివసించుట మూడు వారిన జీవితాలను చిగురింపచేయగలవు నీవు మూడు వారిన జీవితాలను చిగురింపచేయగలవు నీవు మారానుభవ మధురముగా మార్చగలవు నీవు మహోన్నతుడా మీ కృపలో నేను నివసించుట నా జీవిత ధన్యతై ఉన్నది మహోన్నతుడా మీ కృపలో నేను నివసించుట వాడబారని స్వాసి మునాకై పరమందుడాచి యుంచితివా వాడబారని స్వాస్య మునాకై పరమందుదాచి యుంచితివా జీవ జలముల ఊటైన నీవోరను నటితివా మహోన్నతుడా మీ కృపలో నేను నివసించుట నా జీవిత ధన్యతై ఉన్నది మహోన్నతుడా మీ కృపలో నేను నివసించుట వాగ్దాన ఫలము అనుభవింప నీ కృపలో నను పిలచితివా మహోన్నతుడా మీ కృపలో నేను నివసించుట నా జీవిత ధన్యతై ఉన్నది 
మహోన్నతుడామి కృపలో నేను నివసించుట నటి ధ్యానంసము మారా నన్ను నవమి అని పిలువద్దు నన్ను మారా అని పిలువుడి ఏలయనగా సర్వశక్తి గల దేవుడు నాకు మిగుల దుఃఖము కలుగు చేస్తాను ఋతు గ్రంథము ఒకటవ అధ్యాయము ఇరవయవ వచనము డు నాట్ కాల్ మీ నవమి కాల్ మీ మారా బికాస్ ద సౌర్ ఇన్ లాడ్ హ్యాస్ మేడ్ మై లైఫ్ బిట్టర్ ఏ సమయమైనే స్థితికైన నా జీవితములో ఏ సుచాలు సాతను శోధనలధికమైన సొమ్మసిల్లక సాగి వెళ్ళెదను లోకము శరీరములాగినను లోబడకానెను వెళ్ళెదను లోకము శరీరములాగినను లోబడకానెను వెళ్ళెదను ఏ సమయమైన ఏ స్థితికైన నా జీవితములో ఏ సుచాలో పచ్చిక బయళ్ళలో పరుండ జయో శాంతి జలము చెంత నడిపించును పచ్చిక బయళ్ళలో పరుండ జయో శాంతి జలము చెంత నడిపించును అనిసము ప్రాణము తృప్తి పరచున్ మరణాలయలో నన్ను కాపాడును ఏ సమయమైన ఏ స్థితికైన నా జీవితములో ఏ సుచాలో నరులెల్లరూ నను విడచినను శరీరము కుళ్ళి కృసించినను నరులెల్లరూ నను విడచినను శరీరము కుళ్ళి కృసించినను హరించినన్నా ఐశ్వర్యము విరోధి వలె నను విడచినను హరించినన్నాయశ్వర్యము విరోధి వలె నన్ను విడచినను ఏ సమయమైన ఏ స్థితికైన నా జీవితములో ఏ సుచాలు నేటి ధ్యానాంశము మారా నన్ను నవమి అని పిలువద్దు నన్ను మారా అని పిలువుడి ఎలయనగా సర్వశక్తి గల దేవుడు నాకు బహుదుఃఖము కలుగు చేస్తాను ఋతు గ్రంథము ఒకటవ అధ్యాయము ఇరవై వచనము డు నాట్ కాల్ మీ నవమి బట్ కాల్ మీ మారా యాజ్ ద సోవర్ ఇన్ లాడ్ హ్యాస్ మేడ్ మై లైఫ్ బిట్ట
ये न परिहारे प्रिय ये न परिहारे ना जीवित काल मला प्रिय प्रभु न परिहारे ना जीवित काल मला प्रिय प्रभु न परिहारे यन्ने कष्टालु कलिगिननो ननु कृंगिंचे बाधलेनो यन्ने कष्टालु कलिगिननो ननु कृंगिंचे बाधलेनो पालु निंदलु ननु छुटिना प्रिय प्रभु न परिहारे पालु निंदलु ननु छुटिना प्रिय प्रभु न परिहारे ये से न परिहारे प्रिय ये से न परिहारे ना जीवित काल मला प्रिय प्रभु न परिहारे मणि मान्यालु लेकुन्ना ना कु शांति करवैना मणि मान्यालु लेकुन्ना मनोवेदनलु वेदिंचिना ना कु शांति करवैना प्रिय प्रभु न परिहारे ये से न परिहारे प्रिय ये से न परिहारे ना जीवित काल मला प्रिय प्रभु न परिहारे ये से न परिहारे प्रिय ये से न परिहारे ना जीवित काल मला प्रिय प्रभु न परिहारे बेटी ध्यान समो मारा शेदु बिटर ननो नाओमी अने पिलवावदु ननो मारा अने पिलूडी यारे अने का सर्वश्रेष्ठ गल देवडो ना को बहुत दुखमो कलगुजेस्सनो रोतु ग्रंथमो वक्तवा अध्यायमो यरवया वचनमो Do not call me Naomi. Call me Mara, as the Sovereign Lord has made my life bitter. Ruth, chapter one, verse twenty. Shodhim pabadi na me. Neno suvarna mai maradano Hallelujah, 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 Amen Hallelujah, Hallelujah Hallelujah Jualalu mamukal chajalavu Hallelujah, 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 Me Hallelujah, 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 Me 
विश्वास यात्र सागुचो पायनिंचो समयानना प्रभो विश्वास यात्र सागुचो पायनिंचो समयानना प्रभो Satanu sudigali re paga Nayaduta nila chavana prabhuva Hallelujah 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 Amen Hallelujah 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 Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Amen. Vishwasayatra saguchu, Payaninchu samayanana prabho, Satanu sudigalire paga, Nadaricheri nila chavana prabho Hallelujah, 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 Amen Hallelujah, 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 Amen Neti Dhyanam Samo Mara Anaga Chedu Bitterness Nano Naomi Ani Pilodu Mara Ani Pilodi Yelenaga Sarashek Tigala Devudu Nako Bahudu Kamukalagis रूत ग्रंथमो वक्तवा अध्यायमो इरवय वावचन Do not call me Naomi Call me Mara Because the sovereign Lord Has made my life bitter रूत चाप्टर वन वर्स ट्वेंटी This is no fairy tale This is no parable. This is no imagination of heart. This is history. Is your life a story? Is your life a parable? No. Gospel deals with real people, real problems. And for all the problems, the solution is the name Jesus Christ because the name Jesus means Savior Christ means King what else is needed if we have both Savior and King with us what is lacking nothing is lacking only one thing is needed Maria has chosen the best thing for herself no one can take that away who asked you to choose what is not permanent who has asked you to choose a bad thing who asked you to make a wrong choice and then accuse God that God has done injustice that God has dwelt with you bitterly it is impossible for God to do injustice Sarva Shakti Gala Devudu Anyayamu Cheta Sambhavamu God is not unjust that he will forget the love that you have shown for his 
namesake and the ministry the help you have been doing to the servants of the lord for the sake of the name jesus christ ఆయన నామమును బట్టి మీరు చూపించినటువంటి ప్రేమను మరిచిపోవటకు ఆయన అన్యాయస్తుడు కాదు గాడ్ హ్యాస్ డ్వెల్ట్ విత్ మీ బిట్టర్లీ గాడ్ హ్యాస్ డ్వెల్ట్ విత్ మీ అన్జస్ట్లీ గాడ్ హ్యాస్ కాస్డ్ మీ ట్రబుల్ గాడ్ హ్యాస్ మేడ్ మై లైఫ్ బిట్టర్ గాడ్ హ్యాస్ మేడ్ మై లైఫ్ మిజరబుల్ ఆర్ వి న్యూ టు సచ్ కంప్లైంట్స్ have we not ever heard such complaints these are no fairy tales gospel deals with real people real problems real sufferings real broken hearts and the god will not leave any life incomplete god that created each of us in our mother sum so marvelously so fearfully will bring our life to a wonderful completion i have plans for you plans to prosper you and not to harm you jeremiah's life was filled with bitterness Jeremiah is no ordinary person Jeremiah is the prophet of the sovereign lord hearing the word that proceeded from the mouth of the lord receiving guidance receiving directions receiving counseling receiving the word from the mouth of the lord Jeremiah go to the potter's house that makes the pots the beautiful examples god showed his prophet jeremiah the future happenings that are going to happen in the nation israel as the potter does to the pot can i not do to my people do i not have power do i not have authority to do what i wish with my people that i have made Jeremiah go to the potter's house through beautiful examples God is showing the future happenings that God is going to do in the nation Israel to the children of Jacob job has gone through so much bitterness his life has become mara the word the hebrew word mara means bitterness job's life is filled with bitterness going through much suffering what can be more suffering than a troublesome wife than a wife that can never understand the heart of the husband a quarrelsome wife is like a continuous downpour how much uncomfortable inconvenient disgusting troublesome if the rain persistently goes on forever it will be so with a quarrelsome wife job has lost everything except his wife what can be so miserable than sickness from head to toe 
all his body from head to toe was filled with wounds blisters and pus and blood is flowing from his boils so much agony so much suffering so much pain not even having uh, nails job is taking a piece of broken clay and scratching scratching his wounds the pain is so miserable the itching is so miserable all through his body so many boils so many blisters and worms are falling from his wounds boils pus and blood is flowing out so much pain so much agony so much bitterness so much misery so much suffering amidst sickness of health amidst so many losses amidst nothingness job says shall we only receive good can we not receive trouble from god what a wonderful heart what a love for god what an understanding of who he is who god is that is why god is not ashamed to be called as the god of job god is testifying before the celestial beings all the angels the multitude of hosts in heaven even before the satan the adversary the devil have you seen my servant david he is blameless he is god fearing he is righteous he has departed from evil god has a reason to feel proud of job god is pleased with the life of job is god pleased with your life could you say along with job that shall we receive only good can we not receive trouble from god yet job do not know the secret the secret that the bitterness is not from god the trouble is not from god the sickness is not from god the loss is not from god the secret job do not know yet job know one thing very well without the will of god no harm can ever reach me god has permitted this suffering god has allowed this bitterness grief in my life should i only receive good from god can i not receive trouble from god the in and out of job is very clearly known to god what was his outside is same as what is in his in his heart there is no hypocrisy in job his inward and outward appearances are the same this is what is called child like heart can child knows deception can child knows acting can child knows to hide its feelings this is what is called departing from evil in the beginning when adam and eve were created they were created in the image of god adam and eve are like god with divine qualities with godly attributes let us make man in our form in our image the triune god the father the son and the holy spirit even before forming man in his image in his form 
create a conducive environment pleasant environment comfortable place of dwelling to adam and eve what a love we cannot show such love towards our own wife towards our own husband towards our own children even a newborn baby were to arrive into our families we can't welcome the child with a wonderful pleasant place of dwelling it may be out of our negligence it may be out of our poverty it may be out of our inefficiency in many forms yet god took all precaution god took all care in welcoming his children adam and eve to the garden of eden what a wonderful place of dwelling god has prepared should we not learn from god in our dealings with our children how we have to prepare for our children a conducive pleasant environment for their growth teach the child the way he should go so that he will not depart from the way when he grows up are we providing conducive environment for our children to live happily to live peacefully without fear are we providing for all the needs of our children so that they can be in good health they will be nourished with proper food that is needed for their all round development god took such care there is much we can learn from the word of god the first and foremost thing is love by being with god we will be like god because we have lost the form of god soon after adam and eve has violated the word of god adam and eve has lost godly attributes godly nature to regain the to restore man the last glory the last honor the last virtues god has to come towards the end of the ages in the form of immanuel in the form of the person called jesus and make atonement for the disobedience of man by being nailed to the cross so that all human race will be provided the life jacket the life boat for reaching celestial city safely accidents do occur in life should we remain in sorrow should we remain in bitterness should we accuse god here we see naomi naomi says do not call me naomi naomi means sweetness what a wonderful name many of us will have beautiful names but we often fail to live up to our names our father and mother with so much love so much hope so much so many great ambitions give us good names most of us fail to fulfill the plan and will of our parents not able to live up to the expectations not able to live up to our name naomi was given a beautiful name the name naomi means sweetness when naomi returns from bethlehem when naomi river returns from moab to bethlehem to her own native place bethlehem all her past relatives all her friends that knew naomi approaches her in a typical village there will be thick relationships everyone in a region in a place will be known to all a person living in a street will be known to all the 100 families or 200 families living in that particular street 
it is so in the place called bethlehem naomi is very famous person she is very influential person she has uh, good communication skills and she had one many good friends all through the place of her dwelling she made good friends after being established by god after being planted by god by the streams of the river why at all you have to move don't we see today people like the tree that has been uprooted twice being separated from the land scorched with the sunlight and drying drying to the point of death no hope of revival no hope of restoration no hope of revival don't we see so many people whose lives are like an uprooted tree not once twice where will be the chance of revival where will be the chance of restoration you have separated from the source of nourishment you have cut off your relationship with god you have gone far away you have turned away from the source of life from the source of faith from the source of hope from the source of encouragement from the source of all blessings you yourself have cut your relationship with god then why at all you have to blame god the lord has dwelt with me bitterly the lord has done injustice to me my life is turned to bitterness don't we see so many youngsters and girls going away from the will of their father going away from the will of their mother i have loved my boyfriend i have met him in a facebook i have met him in a wechat i have met him on a social media on my way to the college on my way to the university i saw someone he is he is handsome he is good looking i wanted to marry him if you are to be handsome if you are to be good looking is that the only criteria to choose a life partner i have seen delila i will marry her no you are nazir you are chosen you are selected you are anointed for a special purpose you are an ordained man of god you should not go after that woman who is she how is she related to you where have you seen her i have seen delila i have seen a woman she is beautiful i will marry her Manoha and his wife were grieved. You are anointed. Even before you are conceived, God knew you. Your very hairs are numbered. God has wonderful plans for you to bring salvation to his people to bring peace to his people you should not marry any girl whomever you wish is it the will of god manoha and uh, his wife try to convince samson regarding his choice my son do not disregard the advice the counseling of your father and your mother today so many youngsters are just turning a deaf ear to the counseling of mother and father especially in the issue of marriage and it is going to turn out to be a great nightmare a disaster it has happened in the in the life of our samson why at all you have to see a girl out of the will of god why at all you have to go after her 
यू हैव मैरिड वाई एट ऑल यू हैव टू रिवील द सीक्रेट हर हार्ट इज समवेयर एल्स she has never knew the savior she has never knew the love of god she has never been converted she has never received the heart of a new born child your experience is not sufficient your eyes are deceiving you i have seen she is beautiful i will marry marry who is at last you have revealed the secret can food can come from the mouth of the one that eats that consumes that takes prey if you can answer my riddle i will give you gifts if you fail to answer my riddle you have to give me gifts on the wedding day there has been a test a riddle posed by samson while going to marry her love on the way samson sees the lion sees the lion and what samson does is with a dry donkey's bone samson kills the lion what a great anointment what a great ordination what a great strength this is the strength from the spirit of god not by strength not by might i will do it with my spirit what a wonderful power should we abuse the power that is given to us should we abuse the strength given to us should we abuse the ordination given to us while going to see his girlfriend for wedding aliens on his way samson fights valiantly with the lion and kills the lion with just a donkey's dry bone not by strength not by might i will do it with my spirit this is the power of god if god is for us who can be against us have you received jesus christ as your personal savior then you can accomplish great things for the lord just with a donkey's dry bone samson has killed multitudes multitudes of enemies on the way while going to meet his girlfriend samson kills the lion fights valiantly with the lion this is what will happen when the lion of judah is on he is on our side do we have less number of conflicts do we have less number of challenges battles troubles in this world every day we face so many problems so many troubles so much agony so many tension so many anxieties how to overcome all these troubles how to get consolation how to get comfort how to get strength how to get confidence how to get the needed energy needed nourishment needed strength these days we require strength beyond the food we eat the food we eat is no match for the so many burdens we have to bear each day i am exhausted i am tired i am too weak to work through christ that strengthens me i can do all things the spirit that is in samson is the same as the spirit that is in paul so paul could say with confidence i can do all things through christ that strengthens me why Paul has received the promise from God himself 
as samson was ordained as samson was anointed with the spirit of god paul too was anointed with the spirit of god this is my chosen vessel to bear my name likewise samson has also been chosen by god to bear his name this is my chosen vessel to bear my name ananiya do not hesitate lord you do not know he is so violent person he has been persecuting the church he has been killing those that used to walk in the path of jesus christ you yourself know you yourself know how many people have been persecuted your saint stephen when he was stoned to death have you not seen that this shaul was encouraging those that were pelting stones on shaul uh, on stephen Lord, you yourself have seen how many people, how many saints have been persecuted by this person, Shaul. Why do you say that I should visit him? Why should I visit him? Let him be blind. He deserves that. He deserves more punishment. He has grieved so many saints of you. He has welcomed stoning Stephen. should he not deserve blindness ananiah has an argument not knowing the heart of jesus christ ananiah i know shaul is no old shaul you only see the outward appearance outward appearances are deceptive external appearances are deceptive i see the heart there is a true conversion in the heart of Shaul Shaul has been converted to Paul he is no more Shaul do not fear he is praying his heart is changed he is kneeling down on his knees he is praying for grace i have given my grace to him i have promised him that my grace is sufficient for him and he is the chosen and ordained vessel to bear my name go and pray baptize him in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit ananiya obeys the word of god we are dealing with the living god he that has formed the mouth will he not speak he that has formed the ears will he not hear the preacher's five year old daughter says the lord is saying do not fear encourages her father see what is before you see what is behind you the image of jesus christ is there jesus is seeing why do you worry why do you fear five year old daughter little child seeing jesus in the image seeing jesus in the picture what is before you what is behind you don't you see that jesus is seeing a five year old daughter educates the preacher in faith faith shaking circumstances god can use infants to reveal himself don't you hear what are what these little ones are shouting ask them to remain silent ask them to keep quiet they are singing hosanna hosanna command them that they sing no hosanna no more hosanna don't you hear what these little ones are shouting if they remain silent i tell you the stones will rise up and sing praises to the lord have you never heard from the book of psalms what david has written i have ordained the little ones lips to sing praises in my name 
Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah to the Lord. Elroi, Elroi, and I can dire Nandri Aya, and I can dire Nandri Aya, Aradhana, 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 Aradhana. Sugantandire nandri ayya Sugantandire nandri ayya Aradhana 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 Ego anisi Ego anisi Jayantandire nandri ayya Jayantandire nandri ayya Aradhana, 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 Aradhana. Elroi, Elroi, and I can dire Nandriya, and I can dire Nandriya. The Lord has done bitterly with me, the Lord has done harshly with, he, with me, the Lord has done injustice to me. Hagar is weeping. Who has done injustice? It is impossible for God to do injustice. Sarva Shakti do Nyayam Tapata Sambhavama. Hagar, take the little one into your hands. God has opened the eyes of Hagar so that in the wilderness, in the desert, Hagar sees the streams of water. Adarilo Travakaluk Jayvad Aine, Aranyalo Travakaluk Jayvad, Adarilo Niti Utalakaluk Jayvad Aine. In the desert, streams will flow. In the wilderness there will be a way. Is there anything impossible to the Lord? Sadhyame anni sadhyame na yesu thodai undaga Sadhyame anni sadhyame na yesu thodai undaga Asadhyamai nadile neledu Nanno nadi pinchu vadu nato undaga Asadhyamai nadi lene ledu Nanno balaparachu vadu nato undaga Sadhyame anni sadhyame na yesu Thodai undaga Sadhyame anni sadhyame na yesu thodai undaga With God all things are possible. Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. Nanunnai vittu vilagu adillai Nanunnai endrum kai vidu adillai Nan unnai vittu vilagu adillai Nan unnai endrum kai vidu adillai Nan unnai kaan gindra devan Kan mani pol unnai kaape Nan unnai kaan gindra devan Kan mani pol unnai kaape Haya pada de ni maname Nan kati do ve nunai diname Haya pada de ni maname 
నాన్ కాతిడువే నున్నై దినమే అద్భుతంగా నా సేదిడువే అతిశయమాయున్నై నడతిడువే నానున్నై విట్టు విలగు వదిల్లై నానున్నై ఎండ్రు కై విడు వదిల్లై నానున్నై కాన్గిండ్ర దేవన్ కన్మణి పోలున్నై కాపే నానున్నై కాన్గిండ్ర దేవన్ కన్మణి పోలున్నై కాపే ఇగయ అదే కళంగ అదే మనమే నానుండడం ఇరే కాబయమే ఇగయ అదే కళంగ అదే మనమే నానుండడం ఇరే కాబయమే అద్భుతంగా నా సేదిడువే అతిశయమాయున్నై నడతిడువే నానున్నై విట్టు విలగువదిల్లై నానున్నై ఎన్ను కై విడువదిల్లై నెవా విలై లివ్ యూ నెవా విలై హర్ట్ సిక్ యూ జాషువా do not be dismayed do not fear i am with you as i have been with moshe i will be with you there is a great burden responsibility entrusted to joshua the children of jacob are at the threshold of the promised land after going through so many tribulations so many trials so many temptations so much hunger being provided by god miraculously at each stage for all their needs all through their journey their slippers have never worn out their clothes have never become unclean don't we hear of today's technology of the day super hydrophobic surfaces self cleaning garments self cleaning textiles bible is a storehouse of such advanced technology what material can withstand for 40 years so that in spite of walking on rough surfaces the slippers will not worn out don't we need such technology don't we need such faith don't we need such god that cares like a mother kanna talli cherchunatlu nanu cherchuna priyudu haleluya 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 కౌగిటిలో హతుకొను నా చింతలం తీర్చును కౌగిటిలో హతుకొను నా చింతలం తీర్చును హాలెలుయా 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 the lord will turn morning into dancing the lord will turn ashes into a garden these are no fairy tales these are no futile promises thus says the mouth of the lord these are the words spoken by the lord and it must fulfill when you believe you will see miracles happening in your life this is the day of salvation turn to Jesus with all your bitterness with all your failures with all your agony with all your sickness with all your brokenness with all your wounds and you will see the power of God working in you you have gone with abundance and returned to Bethlehem from Moab with empty hands what is this Naomi the sovereign lord has made my life bitter no the lord has not made your life bitter your bad choices why at all you leave the 
house of bread bethlehem and go to moab have you consulted god before moving you yourself have forced your husband